Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a massive new update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and S9 series. So here I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go all the way down, going to my software update. I'm going to tap on the last update, and this one right over here, in fact, is the One UI 2.5 update, which is larger than one terabytes and actually brings some amazing new features to the Note 9 and the S9 lineup. Now, some people may have received this update a few weeks ago, but this one right here is a US unlocked model that just got it today, as you can see, November 27 at 7 p.m. So let's dive in and look at all the new features of this update. This update basically just increases the value of your smartphone by a considerable degree. Now, the first feature I do want to talk about is the Samsung wireless DeX functionality. And then we'll go over the rest of this long list of updates. Let's dive in. So if I do go to my settings and if I go all the way down, if I tap on about phone and go into my software information, I have the One UI 2.5 with Android 10 and a whole lot of new features. Let's discover. So when you pull down your notifications panel and you pull it down one more time, right over here, we have the new DeX functionality. Now this extends the built-in DeX functionality from cable to wireless. So when I go inside my DeX quick toggle, if there's any TV that is wireless smart TV in my house, it's gonna show up right here. Then I can click the link and then it's gonna project the entire Samsung DeX desktop-like experience and environment to that wireless TV. So now my Note 9 is also a computer that can be cast to my TV wirelessly. And of course, I can use a keyboard and a mouse and just get a full desktop-like experience. So that is feature number one, absolutely massive and fantastic. Let's move on. Next up, we have some enhancements to cameras. So if I launch the camera application, what we have is the pro video mode has been completely enhanced. So if I tap on more, and if I go into my pro video mode, the first thing you're going to notice is we now have a histogram on the top that can be toggled on and off, as you can see, by tapping the button on the top right. At the bottom, mostly it is the same, but we do have this new smooth zoom functionality that you can use while you're recording video. You can just, all you do is go like this or like this, and it's going to smoothly toggle uh, on and off zooming capabilities for your professional video recording experience. And also, one more thing, if I tap on settings while I'm in the pro video mode, we now have the ability on the Note 9, these are features that have trickled down from the Note 20 series when they were first released. So now I can go into pro video size and I can pick all these various resolutions uh, for my videos. As you can see, I can go up to 4K at 60 frames per second. And I have this 21 by 9 uh, resolution with these various options. And I can also do full and one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so let's just keep it right over here. And those are some of the new features in the pro video mode. Let's move on. One more feature that's in the camera that has nothing to do with the pro video is if you go to the uh, main options and if you scroll all the way over, if you go into single take, you now have the option to tap this button here and change the length of your single take option. You can go anywhere from five seconds to 15 seconds. You can customize that single take uh, duration for this mode. All right. And of course we do have some sweet edge panel improvements for a particular panel. Uh, that is the multitasking panel. I'm gonna bring it right inside. And that's our brand new Edge panel for our Apps Edge screen. So first and foremost, here's what you can do. On the top, you're going to have four most recently used applications. So this is going to be a dynamic area. At the bottom, you're able to add more applications. But now, if I tap on Edit, I am able to add so many more applications. Let me just show you an example. Let me just keep adding, okay? As you add, it says, you can add up to 22 applications uh, to the Edge panel now. So it's going to be much more convenient to access most used applications. On top of that, if I tap on this button here, it shows me all my applications right over here, as you can see. And you can even search through the applications 
right from the edge panel using the apps edge panel so that is fantastic as well then we have some improvements to our keyboard so let me just launch the youtube application here okay so basically what you do is you go into the settings extra settings on your keyboard at the bottom if you swipe over you'll see this new youtube function so basically if i tap on this i am able to search videos and share those videos with anybody directly from my actual keyboard so for example here's the popular videos right here okay here's a history of the videos that you have watched that's also going to show up here and this is going to be great when you're chatting with your friends or whatever and you just want to share information right from the keyboard to your friends without having to launch the YouTube application and then going back to messages to share a video from here you can also search specific videos so if i'm right over here and if i just search cnn and tap on search it's just going to bring up the videos from cnn and then i can search them with anyone that i want if i tap this arrow right here it allows me to open that video also using an application right from here or let me go back in here if i just tap on a video it's going to send the link to the other person and i can send that through a uh, message okay so that's a built-in youtube functionality into the keyboard into samsung keyboard the next thing has to do with keyboard customization so if i go to go into my settings uh, if i go into my style and layout now what i have is i have the modes section if i go to modes uh, take a look at this when i'm in portrait orientation which is this orientation right here i have these options these are these are existing options but when I go to landscape view, I now have the ability to activate a split keyboard. So if I were to go over here to my messages, and if I had the phone in landscape orientation, just like this, I am actually able to access the split keyboard in landscape orientation, which is going to make it easier for some people to type in this orientation as you're holding your phone with two hands. So that's going to be fantastic new option for keyboard customization the split keyboard and landscape viewing mode let's move on we also have some new wi-fi features so if i go to my settings okay and if i go into my connections and if i go to my wi-fi when you go outside and try to connect to public wi-fi's you'll see the available networks listed at the bottom right here but as you see them you're also going to get a rating information for that wi-fi network it's going to tell you whether the network is fast, average, or slow. So just by looking at it right here, it's going to have a little text symbol next to it saying very fast, fast, or slow to identify the quality of that Wi-Fi network. Not a huge deal, but a nice little touch. Now, when I go to my messages, you also have this new interface for adding categories to your messages. So you can have a category such as family, and all have all the family conversations under that category or if you have work related conversations you can have a category just for work which is great now this is something that was already in existence but now the way it is delivered has been enhanced it is much more intuitive to use you just add a category you make up a category you say done and then you choose a bunch of messages to add to that category and that's how you manage the whole thing and you will see your categories on the top here so if i add one more category let me just add a test category it's all going to appear on the top these are all my messages family messages test messages and so on and so forth fantastic all right so that brings us to the end of the video we do have a brand new update on the note 9 like i said this makes your note 9 even more valuable especially with big features like wireless DeX functionality being added to these phones. Again, this is an unlocked Note 9, and this one is in United States, so this is what's getting right now, uh, but some people may have gotten this before. As you know, Samsung spreads their updates in installments around the world with different regions and carriers. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video.
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.